There's nothing worse than getting your makeup done and hating the way you look. So if I was getting married today, this is the makeup I would do. And I will also give you the inside scoop of my own wedding planning. So we are 10 months out from my big day. Make sure you moisturize and skin prep really well. This is the Summer Fridays moisturizer. I like a really thick moisturizer, personally. I started tretinoin and my skin is in its not so good phase, but you gotta trust the process. So this is gonna be for any brides, for your wedding, rehearsal dinner, showers, anything, or bridesmaids, guest of wedding, anything that you need photo ready, long lasting, but also you wanna look like yourself. So let's get into it. I am gonna go in with a primer. I don't always wear primer, but I feel like my wedding day, I should probably, my wedding day, I should probably do so. If you don't, want to do a primer, just moisturize really well. This is kind of a blurring but hydrating primer. So if you watch my videos, you might be surprised by this, but I am gonna do my eyes first. Just in case for fallout, I'm gonna go in with some concealer on my lid because we're just gonna prep. And then I'm gonna just set it with setting powder. Now, obviously this is the routine I would do on myself. This is totally customizable. It's gonna be heavier, like a little bit heavier than usual, but I'm still, I'm not gonna look crazy. You feel me? And I'm gonna try to make this really easy to follow. When I think of my wedding day, it's gonna be very bronzy, neutrals, browns, golds. That's kind of my vibe. This is the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette. I'm gonna take this kind of warm shade. Okay, let's battle the autofocus here. And I'm gonna start in my outer corner. And the thing with eyeshadow is you just gotta blend, 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 and trust the process. Sydney, no barking. Is this dog for real? We got a video to film. So as you can see, it's in this corner area and we're just gonna buff. You wanna start with a little and blend because you don't want it to get muddy. Hopefully this looks good on camera. Like, could you imagine? Na, 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 na. Next, I'm going in with this kind of neutral shade and I'm just going to autofocus. Blend all in the lid. This is just how I like everything to be smooth and like blended together. La, da, 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 da. I always sing to myself, I'm literally like dad. <laughs> um, so this is kind of where we're at. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. I'm gonna go in with this Ilia eyeshadow stick. It's a gold. I am gonna do gold shimmer. If you are a matte girly, feel free to not put shimmer on your eye. And this is super easy. I'm literally just gonna go over my lid and give me some gold sparkles. Another thing to note, if you're not gonna put eyeliner on, make sure you're getting your shadow all the way down to your lash line. And after I get those sparkles on there, I kind of buff it out again. You just want everything to look blended and seamless. But for the inner corner, I'm going to take a much brighter, flashier sparkles, and we're just gonna dab it in here. This will make your eyes pop. Just a nice little touch. This is really funny. So a huge part of why I never do my eyes first is because I literally think I look so bad with eye makeup on and then nothing on my face. I don't know. Oh, but about my wedding. So I'm getting married in 10 months in June of 2024. Outside ceremony, indoor reception. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. And I wouldn't really say, oh, actually. I think for wedding day, I am gonna go in with liquid eyeliner. So this is the Lancome brown, oh, I should say it's brown, brown liquid liner. And I'm just doing a thin line across my lash line. And if you know me, I will be adding a wing. <laughs> However, a wing is optional. The hardest part is I can't see in the camera, so I'm like, hopefully that looks good. So I have the liquid on there, but I will be going over with an angled brush and a really dark brown to smudge it into the lash line, just to kind of make it a little less perfect. And a big part of the long lasting makeup is like layering things. Anyway, like I said, a wing is optional. Before we get into mascara, I am gonna take a brown eyeliner and we're gonna go in this upper lash line. It's like a really subtle way to make your eyes pop and just everything to blend and look cohesive. So I'm just getting that upper lash line. 
it can really help your eyes pop. And then I will go ahead and just do one layer of mascara. This is the Lancome mascara. So back to what I was saying. I am pretty much done planning, to be honest, which is really nice. A lot of that is because my venue has a lot of the stuff. I've already booked my band, my florist, photographer, what else do you have to book? Venue, like all the main stuff is done. I have a planner that's helping me. So my eyes are looking good and we can come back to that later. So now we're gonna get started on complexion. But I'm gonna use a makeup wipe to clean up the fallout. Wedding day foundation, I am going, or I'm planning to use luminous silk and I'm just gonna go directly in. Like I'd mentioned, this might seem heavier than my usual, but it is a special occasion. So I blend it out with a brush first. My skin <laughs> is so bad. It's like, I don't think the camera will be able to see, but I literally have these like little bumps everywhere. It's very unfortunate, but we will survive. Make sure you blend it down your neck, you get your ears. There's nothing worse than the color not matching. And now I'm going over it with a damp sponge. We will survive, right? Okay, so our base is on. Where is, oh, right in front of me. Now we're gonna contour. So here's the thing with contour. Just make sure you're high enough on your face. I literally, like my cheekbone, uh -huh, I go above it. And then I do a little on my forehead. Under the lip, make your lips look bigger. And draw a line. And when we blend, I am dabbing and going upward into the hairline. That is the Charlotte Tilbury contour, by the way. And I'm just dabbing so it's in the same area, but it's blending out. Jawline. And for the forehead, if you are like me and you have a scalp tan line, make sure you blend that. So this is where we're at. Now let's conceal. So I have the Lancome and the Hourglass. I might do a little combo, but I'm not going to place it too close to my eyes because we don't want to crease. And then I use a darker shade to cover up any blemishes. I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to buff this out. If you notice in a lot of my makeup moves, no, makeup mo strokes, no, what the, do not. <laughs> a lot of my makeup technique, what the hell am I trying to say? Like I'm lightly dabbing because you're just trying to blend it into the skin. I don't want streaks. I don't want it to be completely gone. Like I want it to nicely blend into the skin. And then same as foundation, <laughs> same as foundation, I go over it with a sponge. The concealer on my blemishes, I kind of let it sit there for a little bit before I blend. So here is where we're at, but we're definitely not done. I'm gonna spray with setting spray and I want that to dry. And with a powder puff and the Laura Mercier setting powder, I'm going to set those under eyes because we want this to stay in place and we do not want our concealer to crease. Can also sculpt out that cheekbone. Okay, then I'm going to brush this away. Another thing I just wanna say, when you get to phases like this in the makeup routine, like don't panic. I know you look kind of like a lot or it looks crazy or whatever, but just like it all comes together. You just have to trust the process. That being said, I'm letting the skin chill for a second and we're gonna do the brows. Let me think about which eyebrow I like better. I'm gonna move the mirror so I can do the other eyebrow. Brows, I'm using the Rare Beauty in shade Rich Taupe. I'm pretty sure I told people this was shade blonde. I don't even know if there is a shade blonde. And I'm just going to lightly go across the bottom Hopefully this is in focus. Can you hear my dog? So I'm going across the bottom, give me a little sculpt, and then I go upward, like hair. You gotta mimic hair motions. Kinda like that, and then I'm just gonna brush through. Back to my own wedding. So I don't really have a color scheme. My mom wants to murder me because she wants me to pick colors, but I honestly just want white and greenery and like neutrals. I don't have a color that I like enough or that like speaks to me that I want to be like my wedding colors. Does that make sense? But my vibe is very just timeless, classy. Some would probably say boring, but like, I don't care. I, I don't wanna look back at photos and be like, what was I thinking? Or that was a weird phase. I just have always been classic 
but I'm kind of going for like that old school, I don't want to say Hollywood, like glam. Like I'm making my friends dress up. I won't do black tie because I know that's annoying to some people, but I am going to do formal, I guess like black tie optional. I just want people to get dressed up. It's going to be fun. My mom is crazy. She got a band that doesn't take breaks, so they just rotate the whole time. It's going to be... Dance floor is gonna be lit. Brow gel, I'm using the Refi, and I'm just brushing upward and away. And then I use the little brush side to kind of brush through. Some of my eyebrow hairs are getting long. I think we're gonna do a first look so we can get all the photos done before the ceremony. Um, but I don't know if I should do the first look at my venue and travel there from the hotel separately or if I do my first look at the hotel, but then hotel guests might be able to see me. Like there's just those little details that I still have to figure out, but we have 10 months to do so. We're returning to the eyes. Back to our Makeup by Mario palette. I'm gonna take that same shade. Is that it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Upside down, it's different. So that same shade, and I'm just gonna go underneath in this lower lash line, but not really in the water line. I feel like I look really pale on this, but like in real life, I swear I don't look pale. Okay, we're gonna take a little bit of this brown and we're only going in this outer corner. It's just kind of blending together the wing. See, it's just a nice little cohesive thing going on. As for the water line, I'm going to take another Ilia eyeshadow stick. It's more of like a cream color, not white. And I'm gonna go in my waterline. In photos, this will really help your eyes pop, especially if your waterline will get red. It just helps, trust. My light did not die, bro. Okay, the show must go on. What was I even doing? Second layer of mascara. I'm going in with the Rare Beauty mascara. If it was actually my wedding day, I would probably do a half lash or add some singles in there. You don't need it, it's just personal preference. And bottom mascara, I am doing the Lancome. Okay, eyes are looking good. Let's add some color to the face. You know, I think I would go with Rare Beauty Hope, my tried and true. It's just a neutral, nice pink, but if you want more peachy, if you want brighter, if you want no blush, do whatever you're comfortable with. And I'm just gonna use a brush first to spread it. See, this is like a nice pink, cause it's pink, but it's not crazy. But I'm gonna make it crazy. I'm gonna put pinkasm on top. This is gonna bring the glow factor back in. This is a Rare Beauty brush. And we just want everything to blend together. I just like to go over it with a sponge because I want everything to look cohesive. Amazing. What would I do next? <laughs> you know what? Let's do our liquid highlighter. Iconic London. This has been my tried and true for years because you only need a little bit and it's like the perfect shade. Upper cheekbone with our finger and it blends right in. It is so hard to see. I think it looks good. Hope. So here's the thing. If you want your makeup to last, you're gonna have to set all the cream products with a powdered version. Let's start with bronzer. I'm using the Westman Atelier Butter Bronzer. It's so expensive, but it's so good. You know what? I need to wipe this off. A nice angled fluffy brush and we're just gonna dab in this cheekbone and kind of like I'm literally blending this whole area together. And it just really helps make everything look seamless and it's also setting all the products. Make sure you get your forehead. And I can guarantee that will all be on by the end of the night. Setting our blush, I'm a little cautious because I don't want blush to overpower, but I also want the blush to stay on. Does that make sense? So I'm just gonna take this kind of neutral mauve blush. It's Tarte Party, big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to lightly set the blush. That way it'll still stay on, but it's not adding too much color. And then we need to set our highlighter. This is the Rare Beauty highlighter, a fan brush. And we're just going to lightly go on top. Those steps are more for the longevity of the look not really to control the look. Hopefully that makes sense. The last thing I'm gonna do for my eyes, 
That's a lie. Second to last thing I'm gonna do for my eyes. Flat brush, Rare Beauty Gold Highlighter. And I'm just going to put it to kinda add a little extra glamour to the eye. It's nice. Now the actual last thing I'm gonna do for my eyes is the Rare Beauty eyeshadow stick because I'm just gonna get that really corner and this just makes it really easy to reach it. All these little things are more so for photos. It'll just make your eyes really pop. You just wanna look like you're glowing. Even if you skip all the heavy stuff, just these little tips and tricks can really change your photos. You know how some days are just better makeup days than others? Like sometimes my skin goes on so good. Today it's not. Sometimes my eyebrows look fire and then sometimes they don't. So let's just hope wedding day everything looks great. Now what did I do with my lip liner? Got it. Wedding day lip, this is tricky. For me, I will probably be picking between Pillow Talk Medium, which is my obsession right now, and Iconic Nude. This is Pillow Talk Medium, and I just love the way it looks on me. And I'm probably, honestly, oh my god. <laughs> I, I probably, I probably, honestly, will do a series where we can try out different wedding lips. But if I was getting married today, this is what I would do. And the lipstick is has my new initials on it, so let's hope I still like this on wedding day. So that'd be really cute. And it is YSL. Oh my God, it feels so good. It's like the best. YSL number nine. It's a little pink, but I didn't go overboard on the blush, so I kind of like it. So since I set everything with powder, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury as my finishing spray. I do like the one size, so if you are oily, this is a matte setting spray, but since I did a lot of powder, I'm gonna use this one. And we just want that to dry. If you wanna kind of push it in a little bit with your sponge, you can do that too. Here's our finished look. Obviously, yes, it's a lot more than every day, but it's a special occasion. This will last a long time. It'll photograph really pretty, and I feel like I look glam, but I still look like myself.